Okay, now we're going to do a pass. Passes are pretty similar to runs. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through just a play sequence so I can show you how this works. All right, so defense is set, offense is set, offense calls an audible. And uh, let's say I'm concerned about this guy because he's blitzing. So that's I do one motion and one pivot. Defense gets the match. Um, one, I'm going to move this guy, this will be my one motion, this is pre-snap, all of this is pre-snap, and this will be my one pivot, okay, see the quarterback's on the center, but he's dropping, this is called a drop back bar, the way this works is if the quarterback, we use this to keep the quarterback from going past 25, I mean 20 yards if he's dropping manually and if he does hit the bar uh, and he's for instance he's on a bar and a defender is on a bar that's a sack of course if the defenders touching him that's a sack but if the defenders on a bar and he's on a bar that's also a sack alright but so we're gonna put him dropping back towards the bar alright we did our uh, audible defense match one snap okay now Again, I could just drop the quarterback like that, make him uh, stationary, but I'm gonna, I want to have a moving target. That's a little harder to get a sack on. So now we did a snap, and we're going to now do uh, the offense goes first, right? One. Actually, it doesn't make a difference. There's no matching. On these, anybody that's unengaged after the snap can be pivoted. So the offense does that. We're going to do this. And remember, if these two guys would have been touching, then I could have, and the helmet was inside, I could have slid inside, but they weren't touching, so I'm just going to pivot. I'm going to run with him. He's got him. He's picking up that blitzer. I'm going to make him go out. He's going to try to take him. Okay. And remember, the defense gets that one wild card. So we get one guy we can move, and I'm going to move, I'm going to drop him over here. Since the quarterback's not running towards the line of scrimmage, I'm going to have him drop out here and play zone. So I'm going to make him stationary. Now we're going to just run a play. Hopefully he doesn't get sacked. Okay. Uh, you see here, quarterback didn't go past the 20 uh, yards. So this did his job. And I'm looking, and he's open. Now a couple of things when you pass in our rules. You can use passing sticks. Um, you're probably familiar with these if you've uh, seen these. Uh, you measure from the red outward. In this case it would be a green and you would put the green stick down if you want to do that. And the great thing about passing sticks is it lets you run routes. So you would put that green stick down and this isn't the proper target. I don't see my target, but you put down a magnetic target. It's actually smaller than that. And a quarterback, for instance, if I want to run it out, I could put the stick and the target there. See how that works? And then it's a race for the ball. The defense would then get to run at the ball. He would get to run, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to actually physically throw it so he was like that. But I just wanted to show you how the passing sticks work. And we do the passing sticks so anybody could immediately uh, be able to throw a pass um when they play you know, a new new beginners or whatnot but here's another thing we have in our league that's kind of i think a little bit unique we actually have uh well, we allow a quarterback to slide in the pocket so you take this target and you could put it on any corner of the base now, i'm gonna manually throw this so i want to get a better lane out here so i'm gonna put that right there touch the base so now i can put my passer down anywhere as long as he's touching it. Okay, and now I've got a clear lane to throw it. This is still a little tight, but I'm going to try to hit this. And we missed. But of course, if I would have, uh, this guy's kind of still in my way, so that's a tough pass. Let me try that again. But if I would have hit him, and if I don't hit him this time, we'll pretend I'll hit him because I'm trying. Got him. Okay. So I hit him that time. We completed the pass. And then 
he gets to it's turn and burn on every play. By that I mean he gets to you get to angle the receiver on any kind of catch, whether he catches it with a stick, pass, or with one of these. And the other thing that's cool about our rules is that anyone downfield can block. So we're going to offensive go first to block. Defense then gets to attempt to make a tackle. And he has the ball. Let me make sure that's framed up. Good. Zoom in a little bit on him. And, uh, okay. He has the ball. This, I'm sorry, he has the ball. Let's see what happens if somebody makes a tackle. Now, on passes, it's any touch unless you catch the pass. There's nobody got him. So, it's a touchdown. And that's how passing works.